Welcome back to another episode of Building the EMG-6. In this episode, we're going to talk about marking the tubing. Pretty much every single aspect of building the EMG-6 involves using tubing for its construction. We use 4130 chromoly steel tubing throughout the fuselage assembly, and we use 6061 T6 aluminum tubing throughout the rest of the structure, including the wings, the stabilizers, and the flight controls. If you're building this aircraft from plans, you will need to know exactly how to accurately mark the tubing that you're using in construction. In this video, we're going to show you some of our tricks and tips that we use. The process is very simple and highly accurate. So let's get started with step one. Marking a reference line along the length of the tube. The trick here is to take a piece of channel material and place it along the outside surface of the tube. Because of the natural geometry of the tubing setting against the two separate faces of the channel material, the tube will naturally become parallel with the channel. Simply take a fine point magic marker or sharpie and project your line along the length of the tubing. For very long tubes you can simply reposition the channel and continue to project the line along the length of tubing. Or, if you want to have an even higher degree of accuracy, having a channel or a piece of angle iron that is the length of the longest tube is your best solution. Projecting this line now becomes our reference line for all other measurements. Many of the tubes on the EMG-6 require holes to be drilled at the reference line at 90, 180, and 270 degree positions in relationship to the reference mark. All right, so step two in this whole process is we're going to talk about how we project a line um, other than the original reference line that we had. Uh, you remember we were able to make a reference line using a piece of channel. Here's a channel instead of a, uh, an angle iron instead of a piece of tube. Uh, you can just kind of see that. It works just as well. In fact, if you get the right size angle for the size of tube that you have, it becomes really easy to do this. Um, this is, I think, three-quarter inch angle that you can get at Home Depot um, or any aviation supply. Actually, this isn't Home Depot. It's uh, 2114 T6, so that's obviously an aviation piece of aluminum, but it was a piece of scrap I found out in the shop, so um, you can do the same thing. Okay, back to our, back to our dilemma here. So, we have a case where we may need to drill holes on the EMG-6 um, through the sides, down through the top, sometimes all the way through, and sometimes all the way through, sometimes just on one side. There's a lot of different um, options that we have to have available in order to be able to do this. So we've got our reference line here, and we projected that onto our tube, but how do we find out exactly where 90 degrees is? Pretty simple. Um, the circumference of a piece of tubing is pi d, uh, pi times d, so 3.1415, in this case times, I think this is um, 0.125, yeah, so this is 0.125 um, outside diameter tubing. And so if we multiply that times pi, we come up with our circumference, 3.92. And if we divide that by 360 degrees, we can come out with a dimension per degree and then simply multiply that times whatever the angle is that you want to be drilling the hole to come out with a distance around the circumference of that tube. And in this case, we've got on our uh, tube uh, marking templates that we have available online for um, off of the website. You can go right to and download all these PDF files. Make sure that you print them in a 100% scale. And then we've, we've already done the math here, um, even though it's simple. Uh, we've done the math for you here. So in this case, 90 degrees from, for this section is 0.982. And 180 and 270 and 360 all the way around. And then on the side over here, we have a uh, template that you can simply cut out and wrap around the tube. So let's look at that. I've got another one here that I've already cut out. I've just simply taken this and take a chunk right out of this piece of material. Make sure that you keep this line parallel. That's the most important one. But when you go to put this onto a tube, simply 
I'm just using a piece of tape there. And then when you get this in position, you can see now that we are 360 degrees around, and so we can mark it for the, and you can do this really accurately if you want to because the printer prints a pretty fine line. So there's 90 degrees, there's 180, and there is 270 degrees, and of course you can just verify that it's um, the proper um, ratios there because it comes right back out to um, 360 degrees right back to our same original mark that we had to start with here. So a uh, pretty simple way to go about marking that. Once we've got that done, then we can simply extend those projected marks out onto the tube and just duplicate the whole process over again. And now we've got all of these marks that we need very accurately laid out across four different segments. And you could even do more than that. If you have an angle that's 45, for example, just use the same method for uh, calculating out 45. There you go. Pretty simple, cool way to do this. Um, very accurate. Uh, we used it in all of the prototyping on the EMG6. It works great. Um, download those templates and make sure you print them at 100% and you'll be off and running with this system.